Jeff Horn hopes he's running towards the fight of his life. A shot at the World Championship against an all-time great. I'm absolutely super excited about this fight. Uh, if I can uh, get the win over Manny Pacquiao, it's just going to change my life. The welterweight is considered by many to be Australia's best boxing prospect, but the former school teacher is hardly a household name. The only way to become a legend is to beat one yourself. It's definitely going to grow my exposure in uh, Australia, that's for sure, and over the in, across the world. So um, it, it's a very, very big fight if I can just land the fight, but even bigger if I can win the fight. Horn's working to a 10-week deadline. Shadow boxing with an opponent who's thousands of kilometres away while ignoring all the uncertainties of the professional fight game, including speculation over when, where and even if the bout will take place. He's got the toughness, he's got the work rate, he's got the movement, he's got exceptionally good legs, Jeff, and certainly uh, all the right ingredients. They look at Jeff and they go, here's a fellow with 17 fights, he's got no chance to beat a legend like Pacquiao. But of course, at the end of the day, it comes down to simply just who can hit the other guy the most. It comes down to the night. You don't get hit by a right legend or a left legend, do you? You get hit by a punch. All I'm thinking about is what I've got to do to beat the opponent across from me. There's, there's not too much. I kind of switch into another personality when I'm in the ring and I just, I just go, I've got to do what I need to do to win. World Boxing's next big thing, he is Jeff the Hornet Horn. Horn's undefeated in the professional ring and the number two contender in his division. I'm ready. I want to take on those big names. But he didn't start boxing to take on the world. When he first came through the door, he'd just come in for self-defence because he was getting bullied at school. So he came in and, uh, yeah, just a regular sort of guy, nice fellow. It was never to be a fighter or anything. It was just to kind of learn how to protect myself and for a bit of confidence outside and just in normal life. Wow, Sunday mail, hey? From Paige. It's a good picture of him. Very good. The women in his life didn't see it coming either. It even took his high school sweetheart by surprise. When I first knew him, I don't know, well he was into soccer at that point, so I always kind of thought maybe it was just him going to be doing soccer, but yeah, boxing never entered my mind. I tried to talk him very much into not being a fighter. Um, it wasn't a sport I wanted him to get into. Um, down the track he told me very clearly, even if I didn't support him, um, he was going to do it, and it was at that point that I knew I had to support him. But every fight is a struggle. I don't like it much at all. Um, Joanna and me squeeze each other's hand and um, hold each other tight and, yeah, it's very nerve-wracking. I'm very nervous, and but I try not to be around him too much because I don't want that to rub off on him. You will get hit, OK? You'll never avoid every punch, so if it's going to bother you, then don't box. You know, go and play table tennis. <laughs> That's something he does with his mates. But perhaps not his greatest strength. Not as long as, not as, long as you thought. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy to think that yeah, the, the dude you went to high school with, you muck around all the time, um, yeah, is now potentially going to be a world champion. So I've witnessed his punch before in my arm. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's incredible strong. So yeah, I know how, how powerful he is, yeah. If you lose a kilo. At every training session, Generations of Horn's family are in his corner. He's given me so much peace, you know, watching him, following him, holidays with him. And that, uh, yeah, so, yes, he's, he's unreal. What a great moment it'd be for, for us to be able to say a little bloke from Acacia Ridge is the world welterweight champion. And I can assure you that's a distinct possibility. I'm not saying for a minute that Jeff's not a chance of being beaten in this fight. We're, we're obviously very positive about it and we're thinking positively, but uh, he's not going to take a beating from Pacquiao. I just think I have the style to beat Pacquiao. I, I'm, a, I'm a good mover on my feet, so is he, but I just think I'm just a tiny little bit bigger than him and I'm a little bit younger and I think that's going to possibly show in this fight and I'm hoping to prove that. He's been caught before, he's been knocked out before, he's, he's shown he, 
he is a human and he can be stopped. So um, I'm hoping just to emulate that. To me, Jeff hasn't realised his full potential by far. I believe he's got the ability to go on and unify the division and certainly beat all of the welterweights that are out there at present. But should the fight happen, there may still be debate in the family over his greatest achievement. Can you remember when we were at the Olympics and they picked out the most beautiful people? The most good looking, what was it, Jeffrey? The uh, most sexy. Most sexy. The I most think something sexy. like that. That's it. Yeah, and you, you got somewhere in it. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I think, actually, I think you were number five for my memory. In the Horn Clan, you need your wits about you in and out of the ring.